Uh, hello and welcome to Healthy Living. I'm Dr. Donald Pelto and today I have Steve Perna here with us and uh, you are part of Lem Shoes and for those that don't know about uh, Lem's or uh, tell us a little bit about your company and kind of what your passion is. Yeah, so we're a small footwear company. Um, we started outside the Pittsburgh area. We now reside in Boulder, Colorado. Um, there's about nine of us in the company. Uh, we do everything from the designing to the marketing to um, B2C sales, B2B sales, you name it with those select few people. Um, we started back in 2011 um, when the barefoot movement, the barefoot running, uh, I don't know if many people have read uh, the Born to Run book, but that's kind of what sparked the, the uh, influence for Andrew Rademacher to start the company. Um, at that time, Andrew was uh, designing uh, shoes, just drawing them up in his room. He worked at a Starbucks and across the street was a, a New Balance store. So he was making money from the Starbucks while at the same time learning about shoe fitting um, and things of that nature. So he would take all that knowledge and just bring it home and drop shoes. And then finally in 2011, he started the company um, and we've been taken off ever since. So um, wow. the shoe, yeah. It's <laughs> so uh, comparing uh, this shoe, I know there's no comparison. There's, a, there's different types of shoes that are out there. And this is more of a, what do you call it? An anatomic or minimalist or what, what word do you guys use? Yeah. So, you know, minimalist and barefoot, those can be hot button words. They, they were kind of big a few years ago. Um, but anatomically correct is where we would, we would kind of fall. We do have a, two separate lines. There's the origin series, which is what we started with. We started with the primal shoe. It's foot shaped, it's flat, it's flexible. So, you know, you might hear terms like zero drop thrown around at these days. I, I ultra coined the term. Um, a lot of people, when they think of barefoot shoes, they think of like the Vibram five fingers and things of that nature. So during that time of Andrew drawing the shoes, there was a big fight over the running market, which is why you see a lot of the barefoot styled shoes that are in the running. And so we just kind of went after the casual market. We figured if you're conscious of what you're wearing one hour a day while you're running, then you should be more conscious of what you're wearing the other 16, 15 hours of the day. Um, so we do have that origin line that's all foot shaped, wide toe box, zero drop. And then we have another series that we, we decided to come out with when we came to Colorado, and that's just lower heel drop for light hikers. Um, they do have mid soles and things of that nature. So there are some differences between the two lines, um, but they're built for different purposes. Okay, and afterwards we can we can put in some pictures here. I'll ask you to send me some pictures. We'll throw them in so people can see the difference uh, cool. in the types of shoes. Um, and then, so who are the most common users? Who are those that are passionate about these shoes? Are, is it the barefoot, the born to run uh, type of people, or are they running in them? You said it's casual. Can you run in them? Yeah. So you know, there. Back when it was Andrew and I, I would I would field a lot of customer. Um, customer service questions where people would write and ask if they could be used for this or used for that. So a lot of times I would just take it upon myself to just try and see if they did work. So we have a Boulder boot, you know, I took it out on a backpacking trip. Sure. Yeah. You can definitely backpack in it. One of the things that we do say um, is that if you're not acclimated to minimalist footwear, then it, it's always best to kind of transition. You don't, I mean, as the old adage goes, you wouldn't want to, you know, hop in the ring with Ali and expect the box. Right. So you kind of want to build up those muscles and the infrastructure in the foot and then get your way to the minimalist footwear. Because we do get a lot of customers that say, oh, my feet are aching. They're a little bit painful. It's just, you know, that's something that you have to transition into. Um, but to um, answer your question, yes, you can run in the primal too. You can definitely run in them. We just don't advertise it as such. Um, we, we more focus on the casual market um, in regards to that. But um yeah, we, it's crazy because you ask about our customer base. Our customer base is anything from 15, 16 year old kids to, to 80 year old women that are, that are struggling with gout or something of that mm -hmm, nature, you mm -hmm. know? And we get some of the craziest um, emails and just testimonies from people um, that have just said the shoes have changed their life. It's, it's kind of interesting. So it makes it much more difficult for Audrey to do the marketing. Um, but Yes, we, we do have a big following with some of the uh, older population as well as the uh, minimalist running population as well as there's a big movement out here in Colorado the and, and out west of the kind of like the van, um, just minimalist living kind of thing where if you had a pair of shoes that would do it all, 
Um, so we do get a lot of people like that where they just want a single pair of shoes and they want it to be comfortable enough for just about everything. So again, it, it makes our life harder to market the shoes, but there, there are so many different uh, uses and different facets that they can be um, used for. Yeah, I don't think we mentioned before, if you want to learn more, is there a website, a best place to, to learn about them, buy, buy them? Can yeah. you do it the same website? Definitely. Uh, Lemshoes.com uh, is where we provide all the information. Um, you can order them directly on Lemshoes.com. We also have uh, numerous retailers across the globe uh, that do sell our shoes, and we're very, very lucky to, to have such great retailers, um, such as Central Mass Podiatry. And I know you yeah. guys do sell them, and you sell them well. Um, so there are local places. We do recommend that as well because um, a lot of people want to try the shoes on to make sure that they're right for them. Yeah, that's what I was going to, I would say, you know, the first pair, go try them on, you know, make sure they feel good for you. And, and, and then you can order subsequent pairs. Um, do they have the same lifespan in terms of 500 miles or six months or a year type of thing that other shoes have? Yeah, we normally put a 365 day warranty on the shoes. You know, it's going to be a little bit different depending upon what you're using them for. Um, but the, the outsoles will hold up on the origin series, the outsole, because it's so flexible. Basically it's called IBR. It stands for injection blown rubber. And what we do is we inject air into rubber at a different percentage. And so that's what gives it that flexibility. So the shoes that are very flexible like that, they are rubber. Um, so they will last quite a while. Um, but again, we do offer 365 days of, uh, of wow. warranty. I didn't know that. Okay. So if any, if the, if the, if the sewing comes off or they crack or Definitely. whatever, it's normal usage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, we've kind of always said we're consumers ourselves. You know, if we buy something from another company and it, it, it's faulty after a month, then we're definitely going to write to them. So as we kind of just, you know, pun intended, but put ourselves in their shoes and just realize, Hey, if I were to have bought these things, and this happened, I would definitely want a refund or, or we'll, we do a lot of exchanges. Um, so yeah. we're, we're happy to accommodate almost anything. Now in Colorado, do you guys have actual stores there or is it all through resellers? Um, we don't have a flagship store. That is something we've talked about, but obviously we would probably have to double our manpower at the moment. Uh, like I said, yeah. there's only nine of us. So to have somebody running a store and, and doing those things, it, it would definitely add to the overhead, but it is, something that we have considered for sure yeah and uh let, let's talk a little bit about co co combination because that's one of the things that's really is intriguing to me i think you have some certain partners uh I, I'm, I'm hoping it's a partner as i'm bringing it up like correctos and other things that work really well with uh with lem so talk about other types of devices or you know, yeah, technology so that can work well so essentially again one of the first barefoot shoes being that vibram five fingers where your toes are kind of separated um, basically all we've done is created a shoe that's, it's kind of like ultra where it's just a wider toe box without having that separation. Um, we have, uh, worked with Dr. Ray McClanahan out in, out in Portland since the beginning. He's, he's amazing. His team's great, but they have manufactured products. Some people might know them as like yoga toes. There's different companies out there now, but Dr. Ray was definitely one of the first with these. He, He's a podiatrist that will recommend the correct toes before any sort of surgery. And so the purpose of them is to just spread your toes out. You know, it'll create, it'll put material between your toes so that it'll fix things like bunions and tailor bunions and, and things of that nature. So basically what we've done is we sell other products like in Gingy socks. So they're toe socks. So each individual toe has its own little sleeve to go into, and then you can put the, the correct toes over top of that and they still fit in your shoes so that you can wear them uh, throughout the day. A lot of people expect to just wear the correct toes for an hour or two, but the longer you wear them, the better they are. I, I've worn them myself and I, I swear by them. So yes, we do have certain partner, partners like that that we team up with and, and they're very supportive of us and hopefully we're equally as supportive. Yeah. So what do you see for the, and you said some plans of a flagship store or other things. What do you see in, in, in 10 years, if we're meeting here 10 years, what, what would excite you about your industry, uh, about your shoes, things like that? Yeah. I mean, ever since hopping on board, it's always been an exciting ride. You know, the footwear industry is, is, is dominated by some pretty large um, companies out there. So to be a smaller company and, and still see, you know, I'd still walk down the streets uh, in Colorado or Boulder or wherever. And if I see somebody in a pair of limbs, I always get excited. So I don't think that'll ever change. Um, I, I can say that Andrew is one of the most passionate people I know. And, and if he finds something that he gets passionate about, he won't let it go. 
Um, and so we've kind of seeded ourselves in the outdoor industry. Um, we are now featured in stores like REI and things like that. So we're starting to get more um, in the face of the consumer and people are starting to recognize us more. We do have some big plans of, of really taking that fit, feel and function and, and implementing it into other facets of the outdoor industry. So a lot of times you see these big clunky hiking boots. We want to change that. And we don't, and we don't necessarily see them as the healthiest option, but we want to take the, the features from those boots and, and make them a little bit more foot healthy. So um, there are some things that, that I'm pretty excited about, but at the same time, it's just, it's good to, to stay focused on the day to day and make sure we get to that point. I think that's clear. I think a lot of times we, we, whatever business you're in, you kind of get bored with your business, but no one else is. It's the first time there may be a lot of people here in Worcester that are listening to this about Lem shoes and what, what's Lem or what's minimalist or what's zero drop. Um, yeah. Let's go over as we kind of finish up here, some of the terminology. I know Lem's, does it stand for anything? Um, well, it's funny. We started out back in the day as STEM footwear. So a lot of people would email in and say, Hey, my STEMs, um, we, at that time, after about a year in business or so, we received a cease and desist from Nordstrom's, um, you know, big, big Nordstrom's and saying that they have a female uh, nightgown line called STEM. So we had to change the name. Uh, it was kind of an abrupt changing, but we changed it to Lemming, L-E-M-M-I-N-G. And people were still kind of combining STEMs with Lemming and they said Lems. Uh, at the time we had used it as like live easy and minimal. That's what it stood for. But these days it doesn't stand for anything. It's just lens shoes, um, simple four letters. That's it. Cool. Great. Uh, so as we can kind of finish up here, uh, if people want to learn more, they want to just kind of look at what minimalists look like, they can go to lems.com, right? And uh, uh, it's, just, yeah, it's lemshoes.com. Um, we have a pretty big, blog presence. So head over to the blog. If you have any questions or things like that, it'll explain the differences between the shoes and the makes and the models. Um, you know, there are some slight differences between like the Boulder boots and the Boulder boot waterproof, uh, just mm -hmm. things like that. And we'll explain it all. And if they have any questions, uh, it's a more than more than willing to reach out. Um, we have a, a phone number, a contact number, as well as an email on there. Um, you'll get one of the, I don't know, five or six people in this office to respond to you. Um, hopefully, no, I should say that, but yes. Cool. Well, thank you so much for your time. This is uh, Steve Ferna from uh, Lem, Lem Shoes, Lemming Shoes, and I appreciate your time. Thanks so much. I appreciate it, Don. You have a great day. Thanks. Hey guys, thank you for watching Healthy Living. You're going to find a few links here I'd like you to click. One is to subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Uh, also, you can learn more. There are some videos here you can see.